Alabama at Kentucky. I, I thought Kentucky had solved their problems on defense, and then LSU uh, treated them like a revolving door for a lot of that second half, scoring on them, coming from behind. Here's another comeback, 16-point comeback by LSU. Now back on Wednesday night against Kentucky. Kentucky back home with Alabama. Overtime game, wild game with Florida also on Wednesday night. All right, thoughts on what this line will likely open at? Corby Craig, a thought and some handicapping on on Alabama, Kentucky. Uh, Bama two and a half, maybe Bama three and a half. And uh, wow. hold the called my shot with uh, Florida a few weeks back, beating Auburn by a good bit in a spot that Florida's going to be a dog. Calling it again. I think Kentucky wins this game. Uh, wins this game by uh, three, four, or five points. It's a Kentucky team who, again, we've talked about the talent all the time. Uh, Bama, I've talked about their lack of talent. I, I still think that they're overachieving for their talent basis. On the road, uh, last time Alabama played, we kind of talked about this. Bama shooting 10% worse on the road than at home from deep, um, and that is their whole game. So can Kentucky guard anybody? As always, that's the question. Uh, but I do think that they have the talent to at least keep up, which Alabama, defensively, I, I don't know if they can stop anybody either. So this is going to be a 400-point game, all-star <laughs> game, which I think Kentucky has a chance to win. We talked the other night, you were on the show, 174 was the total when, that we were discussing, or 174 and a half. Very interesting if it will be similar to that. Kyle Hunter, Alabama, is the first SEC team since 1974. Hello, pre-three-point shot, pre-shot uh, clock, to score 90 or more in three consecutive SEC games. That's what Alabama has done. They are the first team in eight seasons to have seven games in a row with 80 or more Alabama. So the wisdom, the thought is they're going to get 80 points in this game. What about a thought on the total here? Alabama at Kentucky Saturday afternoon. I mean, what is this total going to be? Um, <clears throat> I see Bart Torvik has this one, 183. Um, wow. Ken Palm has 178. I think probably 179 or so is probably what this total is. I feel terrible for saying this, but I think I lean the under in this game. I mean, 79 is kind of crazy. Don't do it. I fell I into know, the I trap probably... with the live button earlier in the week. Don't do well, it. No, I'm not gonna. I'm probably not gonna bet this game. But if I if I had to bet the total, I'd probably bet the under. Kentucky has been a little bit better defensively, and these things are all relative, obviously. But um, uh, Thierro, I believe, is his name, the, the mm -hmm. bigger guy that's come in and and played some pretty good defense. Um, they, they've had several changes to their roster that I think they are a decent amount better on defense. The other thing is, look at the pace they played against Auburn. 67 possessions, two teams that are usually, you know, 73, 74 possessions. I think Kentucky was the team that slowed that game down. And then against LSU, 71, not terribly fast for against another team that plays really fast. So I'm not sure 75 possessions like uh, Ken Palm projects here is definite because I think Kentucky might try to slow it down a little bit versus Bama. I know Bama doesn't slow it down against anybody. Um, I would lean Kentucky too, thinking, uh, you know, if you get plus two, two and a half, three, somewhere in that range, Kentucky could be a pretty good dog in this one because Alabama has been riding high. They were really fortunate to win that Florida game. And now they go on the road against a Kentucky team that's coming off a really tough way to lose in that last game. I think it's a pretty good spot for them. Yeah, as uh, as much as Alabama was euphoric about how they won and won the game in overtime, Kentucky had the winning shot, it looked like, from Dillingham, uh, Kenny Dillingham, only to have LSU come down on a broken play and get the putback with no time left to beat them. Um, by the way, the SEC did find LSU a hundred grand right out of, right out of the box. Matter of fact, and warned them again, it'll be two hundred fifty thousand the next time that people are running on the court in an SEC game uh, for them. Uh, that's a new conference policy they have for football and basketball. Uh, Corby, there's a lot of there's a lot of talk in the in the chat here that you would still look strongly at an over in this game, even if it is like 178, 179. Final thought on if it's that high of a total, what's the handicap? Yeah, I think it, I think it opens 176 and a half. That's kind of the number that these really massive ones have just opened. Uh, and then if they see move either way, they'll they'll drop it up or down. I, I think it opened 176 and a half. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it hops three points at open over or under 172 or 177 uh, are two good spots for it to sit. In my opinion, I would lean towards the under. I fully agree. I think first off Alabama on the road shoots awful. We've kind of talked about this already. Possessions might be there. You might see it, but uh, overall 
I think Kentucky has the guards to stand in front of Alabama guards, not foul as much. The game that is most comparable to, in my opinion, is like the Creighton-Alabama game when when Bama went on the road, played Creighton in an 82 or 85-82 game, which, Mm -hmm. as crazy as it sounds, still goes under. Uh, Creighton shot 29 free throws in that game. I don't think Bama's defense is as bad as they were at that time. I don't know if Kentucky's good enough at driving to the rim. Uh, I, I think this, I mean... This is 177. I, I would make this number closer. I don't have my number in front of me, but I would be closer to like 170 flat, 169 probably, and uh, would wow. be forcing under pretty heavy here. Again, for Alabama, 98 in the Florida overtime game, 100 in a regulation game with Texas A&M, 109 in the regulation game at LSU. This is what they've been doing as of late. And you referenced, uh, Kyle, just one more time, the Auburn game last Saturday night. Auburn began that game 2 of 20 from three-point range at home. All right, Alabama the other night began the Florida game 1 for their first 17 in the first half before they started making a couple late in the first half. So will there be some bricks against Kentucky's defense and at Rupp Arena? We'll see. Now, the one thing is Alabama can ignite. We know this. They had one stretch against Florida where they hit four three-pointers in literally like a minute 40 of clock time. So it can happen quickly with the way they play. So let's see what happens. We gave you a lot of conversation. 